define a boundary. There I dream a world where we all stand in place with all our hands. You and me are joined in harmony. We can make this world if we hold them together. We can share and work. We can make this place better. Protect our land, you and me. Let's work in harmony. Let's rebuild this world. Peace and love to one another. No more space for wars. We shall make this place better. Heavenly Father, we come to you today with the humble hearts, seeking your guidance and wisdom as we begin this program. Lord, we ask that you would bless every person who has gathered here today, and that you would be present with us in a special way. We pray that this program would be a time of learning, growth, and fellowship for all of us. Help us to listen to one another with open hearts and open minds, and to support one another as we strive to serve you in all that we do. Please give us the strength and the courage to follow your will and to use the gifts and talents you have given us to make a positive difference in the world. We pray all of this in your holy name. Amen. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Oh, 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 oh,
of the importance of art and artistic expression in promoting peace, the Volunteer for Individuals for Peace in partnership with Parola Artists Group, Eastern Samar State University, headed by its University President, Dr. Andres C. Pagatpatan, Jr., Northwest Samar State University, headed by its University President, Dr. Benjamin L. Picayo, and the Commission on Higher Education Regional Office 8, headed by Director Dr. Maximo C. Alhibe, conduct this 2023 VIP on-the-spot painting contest with the theme, Peace Builds One Region, One Vision. This competition aims to increase awareness of citizens about the significance of peace to attain national unity, to encourage, inspire, and reward creative works that promote peace, and to support the development of Philippine artistic talents, and to increase national and regional exposure for Philippine art and artists. I am Jumay Makandole. Once again, maupang aga. Magandang umaga para sa mga participants natin na nasa Zoom meeting. May I have the honor to acknowledge our participants today. We acknowledge the following contestants and their coaches. Abarquez, Janelle, and round of applause, please. Okay, so we will get to know later, perhaps during the announcement of uh, winners. Yes, thank you, RD. So um, again, Abarquez, Janelle, and Abletus Wealthy Jane, Abrera Renz Marion, Akala Kian, Akaso Dianito, Alvarez Maria Veselin, Amanduron Gwen, Di Pablo Joanna Lin, Impuesto Diuville, Galing Jeff Angelo, Globio Dave Aaron, Hudluman Jan Anthony, Lorenzo Dan Francisco, Mahinay Francis Mike, Manansala Jamari, Manatad Kenneth, Matuginas Daril, Mayola John Lloyd, Mercado Aldrin, Rito Daryl Riz, Sabulaan Jesse, Sulayo Aina Erika, Suyo Maria Jessame, Sapitin Ed Chison, and last but not the least, Torcotor Nino. Of course, we would also like to acknowledge the presence of the representatives from VIP and Parola Artists Group who are joining us today via Zoom platform. Representatives as well from our partner HEIs from Eastern Summer State University, ma'am and Northwest Samar State University. We also recognize the participation of CHED Regional Office 8 employees and staff who are at the back, of course, headed by the very dynamic and active Regional Director, Maximo Alhibe, and our beloved and supportive Commissioner, Dr. Ronald L. Adamat. And now, to give the welcome message, let us give a round of applause and let us lend our full attention to Regional Director, Dr. Maximo C. Alhibe, PhD, DPM, SASA 3. Thank you very much. Ma'am Jemima, maupay nga aga yung atanan. Good morning, everyone. Ang seryosong seryoso itong ating mga contestants today. But uh, of course, uh, uh, seryoso man tayo, kailangan kasali po yung saya natin ngayong umaga. Why? We are here 
to build peace. We are here to show our love, to get to unite for one country, our beloved Philippines. Ako po'y bumabati ng masigabong at napakainit ng umaga at napakaganda. Na-emphasize ko yung napakainit dahil galing lang po ako ng General Santos City kahapon. Kararating ko lang ho kagabi so that I will be with you this morning dahil napaka-importante po itong exercise na ito. Uh, napakainit sa Jinsan at uh, uh, sinasabi ko po, I'm, I'm saying this because Mindanao is such a country or a part of the Philippines na kung saan nandoon yung major challenge for building peace and unity for one country. In fact, nakipag-struggle po ang ating mga kapatid na Muslim dahil sa ang sabi nila, sila ho ay inabandona at napabayaan. Kaya po, sinasabi kong itong major challenge because part of my job Not only as the Regional Director of Region 8, I am also the Special Assistant of Chairman De Vera for all higher education affairs in Mindanao. With specific focus doon sa pagiging Project Director ko ng HICBOL, Higher Education in the Context of Bangsa Moro Law. It's really a big task because... I really need to adjust. I really need to recalibrate because I am one man supposed to be the ambassador for peace, specifically in the areas of Mindanao where higher education is of much desire up to this time. Because as you all know, The language of education now today is quality assured education. At sa pamamagitan ng hikbol, kahit papaano po, gumagawa tayo ng mga maliliit na hakbangin. Masaya din po ako na batiin yung aking mga kaibigan na andi dito. Of course, yung... Uh, Uh, mataas na representante ngayon ni President Pagatpatan ng Eastern Samar State University. Nandito po ang isa sa mga members of the Board of Regents, si Ma'am Los Cafe, na siya rin ho ang coach yata. Way pabor-pabor ha? Way pabor-pabor. Oh. Si uh, Board of Regents, Ma'am Los Lin Cafe, good morning. And of course, yung uh, nasaan si Sir Philip? Sir Philip, thank you very much. Pag-akyat ko pa lang, brand Philip na ang nandun sa baba. Ang daming snacks na nakaprepare at mga inumin. Thank you very much, Stern Summer State University. Mabuhay, mabuhay po ang isu. And of course, mga sponsors natin ito ngayon. Big sponsors at that. Aside from Stern Summer State University, We have Northwest Samar State University. Sa ating magiting na taga-Eastern Samar din, Dr. Benji Picayo, yung mahal nating Pangulo dyan. Of course, kanina nasabi ko na si Dr. Andres Pagatpatan Jr. Na kung saan ang kanilang uh, representative na andito ay si Sir Cirilo Erinco. Sir Cirilo, Sir Erico, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Dito pala si Sir. Yung askahid po siya ng Northwest Summer State University. And of course, si Ma'am Architect Vanessa Aylion, advisor. Because I'm also from Eastern Samar. Hindi naman kilala kung sino ang mga taga-Eastern Samar dyan, di ba? Very good yan, Sir Leo Camposano. Yung ating overall uh, uh, 
tagapamahala nitong ating activities today. Of course, you must stop sila sa uh, Hironagi uh, Alejandro. Nasaan ba? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you sa inyo, sir. Andito kayo. From Bipso, my beloved Bipso. I used to be your OIC president for one day. De -de, half month naman, half month. Si Sir Rexy Lebon, where's Sir Rexy? Thank you very much. Uh, sadyang nag-resign lang ako sa pagiging OIC President dahil gusto kong nandito ako sa VIP activity this morning. Kasi kung ako OIC President, doon ako. Wala ako rito. Ang taga Southern Leyte State University, kagagaling lang namin uh, nung makailan lang for the investiture of your new president. Of course, yung BIPSO, yung ating OIC president, si Dr. Mendoza. Salamat, ma'am. Pinadala mo dito si Sir Rick Silipon at ang kanyang mga, ang mga estudyante natin nandito. Southern Leyte State University, si Sir Jude Duarte. Salamat, sir. At nandito si, sir, si, si sir Carlos Erika. Nasaan si Sir Carlos Erika? Thank you. Thank you, sir. And of course, sa aking mga kasama dito, si, 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 si Ma'am Sukoy. Andito ba? Where is Ma'am Sukoy? Our chief. Si Ma'am Sukoy nandun. Uh, doon ka lang sa likod kasi taga Eastern Summer ka rin. Baka kung ano mangyari. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, ano ba ito? Eastern Summer Affair? No, 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 no. Just kidding. Just kidding. Of course, si Dr. Leo Camposano, yung assistant chief ng technical, lahat ng mga supervisors nandito, uh, regional supervisor, where's Nurse Candisa, nakita ko kanina, lulubog at lilitaw, dahil napakabising mama yun, si Sir Emmanuel Lim, regional supervisor, sino pa ba dito mga regional supervisors natin? Yung iba ho, nasa travel. Ma'am Sukoy, sino ba nandiyan na sa likod? Si Ma'am Jen Latore, si Ma'am Kati Iglesias, uh, kasi parehong ito yung mga muse namin, magaganda ito pareho eh. Kaya napagkamalan ko si Ma'am Kati ba yan? Ma'am Jane? Ah, okay. Si Ma'am Pinero, parang andyan, okay. Sino pang mga supervisors natin, andyan? Sa Ma'am Myla, nasaan? Yung ating OIC Chief Admin, Ma'am Myla. Yun ang nag-allow na kahit lang masikip daw pag uh, pasinsyan nyo na, sabi niya kasi di pa nagagawa yung bago nating regional office. Pero mayroon tayong 110 million for a new building. So sa susunod, malaki-laking kwarto na yun ang pagdadausan natin ng ganitong uh, uh, activity. Yung ating mga taga-Unifast, nasaan na? Oo, sila Sir John Paul, nasaan? Oo, yung company. Yung mga, lahat na lang, lahat nandito. O nandito na si Sir Nars. Oh, si Architect Loel, yung in charge ng building. Tumayo ka dahil para kung sinong sisisihin pag masikip yung kanilang uh, venue next time sa bagong building. Si Architect Loel is the chair of the technical working group uh, making sure that yung ating dadating na edifice or building ay maging sturdy at maganda para sa atin. Mga kaibigan ko, uh, uh, hayaan nyo muna ako magkwento ng nang hindi naman napakahaba. Maiksi lang, maiksi lang. Uh, bakit nga ba ang mundo ngayon ay ang tawag ay VOCA world or VOCAD world? Ha? Mayroon sinasabi nilang uh, parang uh, uh, parang violent world. Problemado. Ambiguous world. Uncertain. Complex. Voca world. Bakit may gera? Ukraine, Russia. Dito naman sa atin, gusto kong ikawin nyo na, yung voca, ang ibig sabihin ng voca para sa akin, ay, for, for V, ay pwede kong sabihin, yes, yung uh, violent, for V, and for you, uncaring, Coercive and alienating. Bakit? Bakit naging violent? Sadya nga bang tao ay talagang 
mapangahas at mapangabuso. That is why violence is there. Survival of the fittest nga ba? O tayo ay magaling sa pakikipagkapwa? Tayo ay sensitibo kung ano yung ating you know, kinakaharap at kaharap o sino man siya. Uncaring world, coercive world or society, alienating. Bakit? Bakit daw nangyari po ito? Kailangan malaman natin kung bakit nangyayari ito. Kasi po, kung babalik tanawin natin yung history ng ating bayan, alam ho naman ninyo, since elementary na pag-aralan natin, na noong mga panahon na yun, kaninununungan natin, ang panahon po ay mayroon mga kaharian na. Mayroon na mga sultanate. Mayroon ng mga, ang tawag sa kanila noon ay independent communities. Walang pakialaman. Sultan doon, sultan na, uh, sino ba yung mga kung ano-ano mga sultan noon? Mga hari. Walang pakialaman. Independent communities po yun. Hanggang sa panahon ng 1565 after the birth of Christ. 50,000 years before Christ, ang eksistensya ng susidad at mga komunidad noon ay mga independiente. Kanya-kanya, ang very basic political unit noong panahon na yon ay yung pamilya. Hanggang sa maraming pamilya nag-grupo, nagiging independent. Kung sino ang pinakamalakas, sino ang pinakamaisog, yun ang nagiging hari. Yun ho ang susundan ng dikta. Katulad ng mga panliligaw noong panahon, kailangan sisisid ka ng kailaliman ng dagat dahil yung tatay ng dalaga na nilaligawan mo magtatapon ng kung anong bagay na napakabigat para lumubog. Kung gusto mong manligaw sa anak ko, sisisid ka ng malal. Ganun noon. Dumating ngayon ang panahon na kung saan tayo ay Sinakop na mga Espanyol. 333 years tayo na nasa konvento. Alam niyo naman ang buhay konvento. Padasal-dasal tayo. We have to submit. Yuyuko tayo. 333 years yon na binumba tayo. Hindi yung literal na binumbahan na violin. Na tayo'y sinakop na mga Espanyol, at alam nyo naman ang mga Espanyol, maraming itinago kung ano ang tunay na pagkatao ng Pilipino. Hindi sinabi ng Espanyol na mayroong mga indigenous peoples. Hindi sinabi ng mga Espanyol na may mga manubo. Hindi sinabi ng mga Espanyol na may mga kapatid nating Muslim sa Mindanao. 333 years po yun na buhay natin ganun. That was from almost 1565 to 1898 na kung saan noong 1898 tumayo ang KKK, yung kagalang-galangan, kataas-taat ang katipunan ng bayan na kung saan nakibaka sila Andres Bonifacio na sabi natin naging atapang na atao. Yun ho. Yung 1890, doon nag-umpisa. Doon sa pakikibaka ng mga Pilipino, nagkanya-kanyahan din. May Bonifacio, may Aguinaldo. Doon pa lang nag-umpisa na yung division ng mga mamamayang Pilipino. Kailangan natin malaman yan kung ano ga, ba talaga ang ugat ng ating panahon ngayon kung bakit ganito ang nangyayari sa atin. Walang pagmamahalang tunay sa bawat isa. Walang one identity. Cavite versus Bulacan, Tundo versus ano ba yung pelikula ni Fernando Po at ni Joseph? Sayo ang Tundo. Ano ba 'yon? Sayo ang Tundo, akin. Ano ba? Oh yeah, sayo ang Cavite, akin yung Tundo. Yung mga ganon, nakita niyo na. 
nakita niya na kung bakit, kung bakit. Yun yun, yun ang nangyari. Dahil nga yun sa ating ng pagmulatan na panahon ng mga Espanyol. Tapos, dumating na yun, yung alang pelikulang Hollywood. Dumating ang mga kano. Ilang taon ang mga kano sumakop sa atin. 50 years. Sinakop tayo ng mga kano. O ano ang buhay? Yun din. Interest din ng mga kano. Kayamanan din natin ang kanilang in-exploit sa atin. Kumukuha dito ng mga yaman, dinadala sa kanila, ibinabalik. Doble-doble na. Diba? Pero sabi nila para pagsilbihan yung bayan. Sinasabi ko po ito kasi ang tema natin, Peace builds one region at one vision. Dapat alam natin yung ugat ng ating pagkakawatak-watak at kung ano ang dapat natin gawin. Independente ng mga panahon na yon, tapos sinakop ng mga Kastila, tapos sinapop ng mga Kano, tapos dumating na naman ngayon yung Bansay! Arigato! Dumating ang mga Hapon. Ilang taon ang mga Hapon? Tatlo hanggang apat na taon lang ang mga Hapon. Pero nakita rin yun rin ano ang ugali at simulain ng mga Hapon nung tayo sinakop noong 1942 to 1945 na kung saan merong isang Pilipino na nagpasakop si Laurel para ilibre daw yung mga Pilipino at hindi pagtatagpasin ng mga bayonita. Yun ho ang mga drama ng buhay natin ng ating Republika at dumating ngayon si Manuel Quizon. Ang sabi niya, I would prefer the Philippines, you know, uh, lead by a Filipino, no matter what will happen, kahit dalhin yan sa impyerno, basta Pilipino. Kisa naman kung dabi nila mga Amerikano. Ayun nga, nasaan na tayo ngayon? Kaya, I am emphasizing this because as a result of which, nandyan yung VOCA. Pagiging violent, pagiging uncertain, pagiging coercive, pagiging alienating society. Yung politika dito sa atin, kung sino yung may pera, yun ang nananaig. Tingnan nyo naman ngayon ang nangyari doon sa isang probinsya sa Region 6. Ang dami palang mga armas na nakukuha. ba? Diba? Ganyan tayo. Pero tayo, kayo mga kabataan, sa pamagitan ng painting ninyo ngayon, pakikita nyo kung papaano natin Aalisin yung stigma na yun ng pagkakawatak-watak. Aalisin yung pagiging voka ng mundo natin. So yung ating exercise today is really but significant because this is being sponsored by a man Ronald El Adamat. At kaya po natutuwa tayo dahil siya rin po siyang commissioner na kung saan nakapag-approve sa Commission on Higher Education na kung saan ang peace education at saka indigenous peoples uh, concerns ay ma-integrate sa curriculum ng higher education. Tangi po yan si Commissioner Adamat at si Commissioner Adamat din po ay siyang kauna-unahang Filipino na awardee ng Mahatma Gandhi Peace Award. That is why Commissioner Adamat is sponsoring this activity which is very laudable, very significant for all of us and very impactful in fact and indeed. So our VIP on spot painting contest which is having for a theme Peace builds one region and one vision. One region because regional level pa lang ito, but eventually, sino man ang maging dapat-dapat from you here, peace builds one nation na, hindi one region. So, 
Uh, sa inyo pong lahat this morning, I am very happy. What is my part? Oh, I'm supposed to welcome all of you. Akala ko, keynote speech ako. Anyway, Sir Adamat palang message, si Sir pala nandito. Si Sir ba naka-online na si Sir? A video siya. So my dear friends, my dear classmates, I urge you to please uh, give your full support and attention, your love, or your passion for peace building, because in that way or in those ways, malakiman o katiting lang yan, that would mean a lot. Because after all, ang piso po, pag kinulangan ng isang sentimo, hindi na po yan isang peso. Kaya kung anumang magawa niyo ngayon, yun po, titiyakin ko sa inyo, I assure you that that is very significant for building peace in this country, in this region. So marami pong salamat at muli, nagpapasalamat ako sa Eastern Summer State University dahil yung nakikita kong pa-snack dyan at baka may pagkain pa, yan ang brand ng Eastern Summer State University. Yung brand naman ng Northwest Summer State University, I am being informed, yung mga premyo na milyon-milyon ay manggagaling po sa Northwest Summer State University Maraming salamat, Sir June Pagatpatan, our University President of ISO. Maraming salamat, Sir Benji Picayo, our University President from Northwest Summer State University, from BIPSO, from SLSU, ano ho pang mga schools na andi dito? Ha? Besaya State University? Ano pa? Yung napakalayong IBSO, wala. May Ibso ba dito? Sino ba taga Ibso dito? Well, understandably, may contestant ang Ibso? O oh, mayroon pala? Ha? Ah, oo nga pala. Ang, ang inibig sabihin, yung mga officials na Ibso. Wala? No. Kasi mahirap ang transportation. Napakalayo po ng Ibso. That's why di sila nakarating. So maraming salamat. At muli, ako po ay sumasaludo sa inyo. Uh, may kwento lang ako dahil pag ganito hindi na new news kasi hindi maganda. Yung flight ko from Jinsan to Manila kahapon, muntik-munti ka na kami. Apat na bisis. For... Ayawan ko bakit doon idinaan ang piloto. First time. I'm already a senior now. First time in my life na akala namin ganun na. Akala namin babaliktad na yung eroplano. Wala namang typhoon. Wala namang... Sadyang may dinaanan lang kami sa blocking malaki. Bakit ka ko hindi inuskopohan ng piloto? Doon niya. Agoy. Four times. Boom. Four times. Hindi lang Hindi lang once, but twice, but thrice, but four times. Salamat sa Diyos. Salamat sa Diyos. Otherwise, I will not be living in peace, but I will be resting in peace. <laughs> Magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat. Thank you once again, RB. Thank you so much for that succinct yet informative review of our history and for making us understand the significance of promoting peace within and among ourselves as Filipinos. Uh, once again, maraming salamat, RB. And of course, we acknowledge our representatives from Northwest Summer State University, architect Vanessa Island, uh, Sir Irinko, uh, Sir Cirilo Irinko, and our representatives from Eastern Sauer State University, Madam uh, Louise Cafe, member of the Board of Regents, and of course, the very um, accommodating Sir Philip of the OVPAA. 
So at this point, may I request uh, Director Aljibe, Ma'am Luz, and Architect Island to please stand for the photo opportunity. And as well as the contestants, kindly proceed here sa stage. Before daw po tayo na mustras, <laughs> hindi naman. So uh, mag-picture po muna tayo in front. So once again, calling all the contestants, please. Yes, sir. On the sun's moon. Sa stage, sa stage, sa stage. Dear coaches, please be ready. You will be joining after. Uh, you will be joining the contestants after. Huwag magpahalat ang ano, nervous. Flash your biggest smiles. Alright, the coaches, please. Please join the contestants in front. Please remain sa stage pa, mga contestants. Uh, coaches and HEI representatives, please join our dear contestants. Chad, row 8, employees and staff, please prepare. Alright, Chad, row 8, employees and staff, please. For the photo opportunity, let us join. Please remain po, contestant. Salamat! as well to the contestants and coaches and to Dr. Alhiba, Madam Luz, and Architect Aylan. Contestants, can you settle down? Time check, it is already 9, uh, 9, 10, but we assure you that we will be um, completing all of the six hours that is allotted for uh, the contest piece to be finished. Can you settle down, everyone? So may I have the honor to read, the con uh, to present before you the contest mechanics. The competition rules and regulations. First, all entries should be the authentic artist creation of the participant. The artwork has to be original. Any instances of plagiarism will result in a contestant's disqualification. 
Artworks with controversial, offensive, obscene, or with political elements will not be allowed. The use of brand names and commercial endorsement is also prohibited. Companions will not be allowed to get near or enter the painting area. So this includes the coaches and HEI representatives. Once the participants have began to paint in their place, companions, guests, judges, and the committee are not allowed to coach them. Eligibility, the competition is open to all Filipino citizens who are 18 to 35 years old as of today, March 29, 2023. Professional and non-professional artists are eligible to join the competition and participation in the competition is free. For the specification of entries, art mediums to be used are acrylics or oil paint on canvas. Participants shall provide their own materials, so it is presumed that all of the participants that we have today brought their own materials. Stretch canvas size is 18 by 24 inches for regional level competition, which have been provided by Chad Regional Office 8. And as mentioned earlier, you have the option to uh, not use the table we have provided for you as long as you stay in the area that we have designated for you. The tasks must be completed on the spot and within the allotted time, which is six hours. The, the criteria for judging are as follows. Relevance to the theme, 30%. Originality, 25%. Creativity and composition, 25%. Overall impact, 20%. For a total of 100%. All decisions of the panel of judges are final. For phase one of the competition, the panel of judges shall select one first place, one second place, one third place, and five consolation prizes for regional areas. Each regional first placer shall receive 15,000 cash and certificate. The second placer shall receive 10,000 10, cash and certificate. The third placer shall receive 5,000 cash and certificate. And five of the participants shall receive 1,500 cash as consolation pass. Important reminder, all winning artworks of first, second, and third placer will be property of VIP and the organization has the rights to reproduce their works in full or in part in the press, television, including internet websites and pages. So I guess that's all with the contest mechanics. Before we proceed though with the contest to the contest proper, um, let us be encouraged by a message by no other than the commissioner himself, Chad Commissioner Dr. Ronald L. Adamat. A round of applause, please.
The technical concerns, so we will be flashing the video of um, Commissioner Adama later on. So, contestants, are you ready? Parang kinakabahan. Okay, so once again, um, please take note of the following important reminders. Six hours is allotted for you to finish your artwork. This already includes the time for your lunch break. Coaches are not allowed to get near the contestants or to coach them. Contestants may fetch water from their, uh, for their painting from the two comfort rooms uh, at the side. For the potable water, we have provided a dispenser, uh, two dispensers actually. And the use of gadgets is strictly prohibited. And the use of printed or digital references is also prohibited. Lastly, you have the option. Uh, lastly, um, please take, uh, please stay on your designated areas for your lunch. So, contestants, get ready. The timer starts now. Good luck, contestants.
everyone, it's Megan Trainer. Preview my new song, Mother, on YouTube Shorts. Use that hashtag, I am your mother. I can't wait to watch all your iconic shorts to my song. I love you all so much.
Hi, good afternoon, everyone. First of all, congratulations to our participants and contestants. Uh, your hard work is so much appreciated. So before we proceed with the judging of your content pieces, may we kindly request to please settle down and start um, cleaning up your area. Uh, as we will be calling our board of judges in a while. And may we request as well our contestants to please occupy the seats at the back. Uh, please do not sit on your designated area as our board of judges will be roaming around and rating your respective contest pieces. Also, a very important request uh, before Director Maximo Alibe left for Eastern Summer State University for a very important activity, he has requested our participants, uh, specifically to the non-winners, he has, he has requested that you allow us to lend your contest pieces as this office, Chad Regional Office 8, plans to conduct an exhibit during our um, anniversary or HE National Higher Education Week in May 2023 and or during the ASEAN Month celebration uh, in August 2023. So will that be okay for you? Yes? So, okay, thank you so much, um, participants. So, for the non winners, uh, Chad will be lending your contest pieces. And at this juncture, may we welcome the arrival of our board of judges, um, Mr. Melchor Paete. Hi, sir. Mr. Uh, Fernando C. De Los Reyes Jr. and of course uh, the chairman of our board of judges, Mr. Rico A. Palacio. So before we proceed to the judging of contest pieces, let us uh, hear the message from no other than, than the commissioner himself, Dr. Ronald L. Adamat. A round of applause, please. Please let us watch this video. Rolling a ball. Okay, then. Hello, greetings of peace uh, to everyone. First of all, uh, in behalf of uh, the Volunteer Individuals for Peace, VIP, I would like to express my thanks and uh, indebtedness uh, to the state universities and colleges who supported uh, the uh, on-the-spot painting contest. Uh, for the regional level, uh, it will be on uh, March 29, and uh, the participating regions are as follows. Uh, for the Luzon, it is hosted by the Pampanga State Agricultural University in uh, uh, in Central Zone and for Metro Manila there are two areas um, one is uh, the Polytechnic University of the Philippines PUP and the other one is uh, Rizal Technological University um, so in Visayas we have uh, uh, the, the venue is uh, in the Chedro uh, 8 office in Tacloban City um, this will be sponsored by two state universities, namely uh, Eastern Summer State University and uh, Northwest Summer State University, uh, along with uh, uh, Chedro 8. Uh, that's why the venue is uh, the Chedro 8 uh, uh, office. So for Mindanao, we have uh, the uh, 
uh, Cotabato State University. So, uh, for um, Luzon, uh, I would like to particularly thank uh, uh, Dr. Anita David, uh, the President of PSAU, for uh, um, PUP, uh, Dr. Manuel Muni, uh, for RPO, uh, Dr. Uh, Ogi. Um, Yanko, uh, for uh, Dr. Ogie Yanko, and for uh, Region 8, uh, we have Director uh, Max Alhibe, and uh, Dr. Andres Pagatpatan, and uh, for ISO, and for Northwest Summer State University, we have uh, uh, Dr. Uh, ben Picayo, and for Cotabato uh, State University, um, Dr. Uh, uh, Maxi Dilna. Uh, so to all of you, I have to uh, thank you for your uh, active and uh, uh, unqualified support for this uh, event sponsored by uh, VIP uh, in cooperation with the Parola artists. So uh, my advance uh, uh, congratulations uh, to the would-be winners of this. Uh, this is uh, history in the making, and uh, the top, the top uh, two winners in the region will uh, uh, be representing the region to the national level competition uh, here at uh, the Quezon Memorial Circle on April 1. That will be a Saturday, and uh, everybody is welcome to uh, witness uh, uh, one of the important events uh, sponsored by VIP in cooperation with uh, the Parola artists. So again, uh, thank you very much for your uh, effort. Uh, I know this uh, event will go a long way, long way in the promotion of peace in our country. Again, Parami Salamat, Fiobaki. Thank you so much, Commissioner Adamat. It is indeed a history in the making, as the top two winners of today's regional contest are going to represent Visayas and your respective HEI or organizations in the national level, which will be held at the, if I'm not wrong, at the Polytechnic University of the Philippines. Once again, maraming salamat po, Commissioner Adam, for spearheading this activity. So, at this point, kakabahan yung contestants natin. <laughs> Hinga po muna tayo. Uh, by the way, to those who have not yet taken their lunch, please, um, you may now eat and <laughs> baka po kayo may matay. Wag naman sana. So at this point, um, may I have the honor to introduce our Board of Judges. Let's start with um, Sir Major C. Paete, our first member of the Board of Judges. A round of applause, please. He is a graduate of the Bachelor of Arts in Communication Arts, major in Literature and Communication from the University of the Philippines, Visayas Tacloban College. He holds a master's degree in MA Applied Arts and Design from the Graduate School of Applied Arts and Design, Shunta University, Taiwan, and College of Communication, Art and Design, University of the Philippines, Cebu. He also is an illustrator and designer of Warai literatures for local and regional publishers, such as Save the Children, Amandui, Gani Books, and Leyte Normal University Press. Mr. Paeta is engaged in cultural and heritage work focusing on cultural arts and society in Region 8. He is deeply interested in local artistic traditions and literary works from writers in Eastern Visayas. He is currently an assistant professor teaching arts, media studies, and communication in UPVTC. Once again, welcome Mr. Melcher C. Paete. Our second member of the Board of Judges is Mr. Fernando C. De Las Reyes, Jr. A round of applause, please. 
Also alternatively known by his pseudonym Pando, is an autodidactic artist originating from Angono Rizal. He has migrated to Dulag Leyte in 2015 and is currently based in the locality practicing the craft of metal and wood carving. Pando is also the founder of Sinag Artist Association Incorporated, an art collective based in Dulag offering free art workshops for the youth and children with special needs. Despite his illness, Pando continues to inspire people through his body of art ranging from realism, abstract expressionism, and to his signature style on rock sculpting. His notable awards and experiences include, as mentioned, he is the founder and chairman of the Sinag Artists Association. He is the board of director of the Island of Summer and Lady Artists Association Incorporated. He is the board of director and head sculptor, sculptor of Bahagdao Volcano Echo Park Driftwood Sculpture Project. And he has been fe featured by UPVTC's idiopraxists, Karit and Yag, Eastern Visayas Artist Online Exhibition. And he was a participant during Metro Bank's Arts and Design Competition Sculpture Recognition Program. Once again, let's give a round of applause to Mr. Fernando Pando de los Reyes. And of course, the chairman of our board of judges, let us welcome Mr. Rico A. Palacio. Sir Rico is a 59-year-old visual artist from Palo Leyte. Kababayan, sir. Um, and is currently working as a government employee from the Department of Agriculture, Agriculture Training Institute Regional Training Center. Uh, the visual artist is also known for his pen and ink drawings mixed media arts, and sculpture. The artworks which he had attended uh, are the following. The art workshops of Mr. Rudy Thomas in 1982 and 1983 at the latest State College, now LNU. Uh, the art workshops by Mr. Mayowix Flores from UP Cebu, by Mr. Georgia De Vera from UP Diliman in 1986. The 1992 installation art by uh, Mr. Alwin Reamilio, the 1995 basic drawing by Elmer Berlongan, and paper sculpture by Noel Kizon, the 1995 national visual art workshop represented by selected artists from each region in the country. And he has won first place uh, during the 1995 portraiture at UP Tacloban. And he was a finalist during the 2020 CHAG National Watercolor, Compe Watercolor Competition in Cebu City. He has also participated in major art exhibitions, which include the 1996 Sungduan Art Exhibit of the National Commission on the Culture and the Arts in Manila, the 1999 Peace Art Exhibit Japan, 2003 Echoes of Balinghiga Art Exhibit Japan, 1996 Sunset in Biliran Art Exhibit, Japan Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan, 2010 Walong Filipino Art Exhibit at the Leungoran Gallery and Cultural Center of the Philippines, the 2011 Walong Filipina at the Leungoran Gallery, Metro Manila, and the 2013 Paglaom Art Exhibit at Resorts World Manila. Art is his life, his passion, and his happiness. Let's welcome Mr. Rico A. Palacio. So uh, we, will also, we would also like to take this opportunity to award the certificates to our Board of Judges. May I call on Engineer Socorro Q. Ramos, our Chief Education Program Specialist representing CHED Regional Office 8, and representatives, Madam Luz Cafe and architect Vanessa Ailon representing Northwest Summer State University and Ma'am Luz Cafe representing Eastern Summer State University uh, to award the following certificates. So let me read the citation. Uh, Volunteer Individuals for Peace. This certificate of appreciation is given to 
for being one of the board of judges during the VIP on the spot painting contest phase one regional competition Visayas 2023 with the theme peace builds one region one vision given this 29th day of March 2023 at the Commission on Higher Education Regional Office 8 Tacloban City signed by Chairman and Chad Commissioner and National Peace Ambassador Dr. Ronald Adamat. So this certificate of appreciation is given to Mr. Rico A. Palacio. The same certificate is given to Mr. Fernan Fernando C. De Los Reyes, Jr. Thank you, sir. The same certificate is also awarded to Mr. Melcher C. Paete. Maraming salamat to our Board of Judges. So I guess it is no time to start rating our contest pieces. So you may now proceed to, uh, to the respective um, uh, contest pieces and start rating na po. We have provided the score sheets. So yung i-indicate lang po ay yung um, participant number and art title. Okay, so yes, yes, sir. You may now start rating. While we are being serenaded by a very nice background music. Thank you so much, sir.
to fun outdoors? Bring Claritin. Ta da! Let's go outside. With Claritin, your day will be alright. For fast acting, non drowsy, long lasting allergy relief. Let's go da da let's outside with Claritin.
feel you over here You take up every corner of my mind What you gonna do now? Take up every corner of my mind What you gonna do, y'all?
Okay, so thank you so much to our judges. So while we're waiting for the consolidation of scores, um, we will proceed to the awarding of certificates. So we call on our dear May we call on our dear judges to award the certificates as well as uh, our Chief Education Program Specialist, Engineer Socorro Q. Ramos. Read the citation, Volunteer Individuals for Peace, Certificate of Participation is given to for actively participating as a contestant during the VIP on the Spot Painting Contest Phase 1 Regional Competition Visayas 2023 with the theme Peace Builds One Region, One Vision. Given this 29th day of March 2023 at the Commission on Higher Education Regional Office 8, Tacloban City. Signed, Chairman and National Peace Ambassador and Ched Chair Commissioner, Dr. Ronald Adama. So when we call, when we call your name, um, please get your uh, outputs, your art pieces and posts in front with your certificate and with your art piece. The Certificate of Appreciation is given to Ms. Junelle and B. Abarquez. Ms. Junelle, please get your output. So, please proceed to the front for the awarding of certificate. <laughs> the same certificate is given to Miss Wilde Jane G. Abletes. Miss Wealthy Jane. So, this is in alphabetical order. So, Next participants, please prepare. All right, a round of applause naman, a round of applause. The same certificate is given to Renz Marion C. Abrera. Round of applause, please. The same certificate is given to Kian R. Alcala. Ah, Miss Kian. The same certificate is given to Mr. Dianito M. Acaso. Acaso. Mr. 
the same certificate is given to Miss Maria Vicelency Alvarez. The same certificate is given to Miss Gwen C. Amandoron. Miss Gwen. The same certificate is also given to Miss Joanneline M. De Pablo. Please prepare, Miss Joanneline. Congratulations. Miss Tranaline. The same certificate is given to Miss Deoville R. Impuesto. Mr. Mr. I'm sorry, sir. The same certificate is given to Mr. Jeff Angelo A. Galing. Sige, sir, let us see your Galing. The same certificate is given to Dave Aaron A. Glubio. The same certificate is given to Mr. John Anthony Erickson Hudluman. The same certificate is given to Mr. Dan Francisco L. Lorezo. The same certificate is given to Frances Mike Y. Mahinay. The same certificate is given to Jomari C. Manans Manansala. Manansala, I'm sorry. <laughs> Mr. Manansala. Okay. The same certificate is given to Mr. Kenneth D. Manatad. The same certificate is given to Mr. Daryl A. Matuginas. The same certificate is given to Mr. John Lloyd D. Mayola. Wow, John Lloyd has many fans. Please be careful po of the artworks. Baka mag-blot pa yung ibang wet pa na paint. Thank you. The same certificate is given to Aldrin V. Mercado. The same certificate is given to Daryl Riz C. Rite. The same certificate is given to Jesse B. Sabolaan.
the same certificate is given to Aina Erika C. Solayao. The same certificate is given to Ms. Maria Jessame P. Suyo. The same certificate is given to Ed Chison C. Sapitin. Sap Sapitin. And last but not the least, the same certificate is given to Mr. Nino and Torquator. Congratulations to our participants. We would also like to award this certificate of participation to our coaches and our advisors. So let me read the, the citation. The certificate of participation is given to for actively participating as coach or advisor during the VIP on the spot painting contest phase one regional competition Visayas 2023 with the theme Peace Builds Region One uh, Peace Builds One Region One Vision. Given this 29th day of March 2023 at the Commission on Higher Education Regional Office 8 Tacloban City, signed Commissioner Ronald Adamat. So this cert certificate is given to Mr. Philip Raymond Bote. The same certificate is given to Ma'am Luzlin. Cafe. The same certificate is given to Mr. Alejandro C. Heronage. same certificate is given to Mr. Carlos Martin Erica. Thank you, sir. The same certificate is given to Mr. Cirilo A. Erinko. The same certificate is given to Prof. Rexy I. Lipon. certificates to the committee involved uh, in making this uh, activity successful. So first, we would like to award the certificate of appreciation to for being the auxiliary support staff during the VIP on the spot painting contest phase one regional competition Visayas 2023 with the team Peace Builds One Region One Vision to Mr. Rolando S. Gallo Jr. The same certificate is given to Mr. Jaram B. Bastida. 
So, ito po yung mga taong to ang nag-make sure that uh, maayos yung pagkaka <laughs> pagkakalagay ng mga materials. And um, this certificate of appreciation is given to Ms. Cheryl M. Mercado for being the usherette of this activity. Busy pa pag-consolidate si Ma'am Cheryl. And the same certificate is given to Mr. George B. Amongo on travel. The same certificate is given to Mr. Sabas Luisito El Sicogo on travel as well. And a certificate of appreciation is given to Mr. Kim C. Almodiel for being the photographer as well as committee member during this activity. And certificate of appreciation is given as well to Mr. Neil Lawrence C. Dolor for being the layout artist and committee member of this activity. Thank you, sir. And of course, we award this certificate of appreciation to the focal person of this VIP on the spot painting contest. Dr. Leo D. Camposano. At this point, let us hear uh, a message from our partner university from Eastern Samar State University. A message from the university president, Dr. L.S. C. Gatpat Jr. to be delivered by uh, Ma'am Luz Cafe. A round of applause, please. Uh. To our Peace Advocate Commissioner, Dr. Ronald L. Damat, our Dynamic and Workaholic Regional Director, Dr. Maximo Alhibi, Anneli Lisang Event Coordinator, Dr. Leo Camposano, CHED personnel, coaches and advisors, STEAM judges, my dear participants, good evening. In behalf of our university president, Dr. Andres Pagatpatan, we are grateful and proud that we're part of this first VIP activity in the region. It is our pleasure also sending our amateur artists for this kind of competition where we can spread the loom for peace through painting. Hope this will be an instrument in promoting peace and unifying the region as we envision peace. Thank you, my dear participants. At ang gagaling ninyo, palakpak naman dyan sa inyo. This is my first time to attend such an activity and I have no idea because I'm into dancing. Uh, I was amazed, okay? <laughs> I was amazed with the participants. Hindi ko may na... In six hours, they can have this uh, kind of arts. Eh? Uh, hindi ako makapaniwala na mayroon palang talent na ganon. Uh, uh, thank you uh, for coming, uh, coaches and advisors. Hope you will also spread the virus of peace. Let's all live in peace, not rest in peace. Thank you. 
Thank you so much, Ma'am Luz Cafe. And let us also le lend our ears and full attention to another message from our partner university from Northwest Samar State University, University President Dr. Benjamin L. Picayo, um, represented by architect Vanessa Ailon. A round of applause, please. Thank you, ma'am. Our honor judges, good afternoon. To our coaches, advisors, and the very busy Sir Leo. He's, uh, I always tell him it's very perfect. He, ha he really knows how to organize everything. A very short uh, notice for this event, talagang he's very organized. And of course, to my fellow uh, faculty members who are here, the staff of the CHED, and of course, the and aton starring yana, our artist. Uh, let us give acknowledge all of them. All of you here are winners, 25 winners, representative of the Visayas, diba? So this is really. Uh, actually now, ma, nagkakadog kadog times eight, kadog kadog takdoghan because I have eight representatives here. So, and uh, our beloved president, uh, Dr. Benjamin Picayo, is always, uh, is poro heart, heart, heart na siya sa tanan akong message. He's very happy and looking forward for whatever will be the result of this event. Uh, being uh, an kanina kan ma'am, ano siya is sa, she's into dancing. May naman as an architect and an artist myself, talagang I'm always uh, passionate with this kind of of endeavor. And uh, yes, ma'am, especially we just finished the the cultural presentation, dancing, singing, acting, it's all of them are on stage. So ini is this is another. And we are very happy that I was always so telling Sir Leo that Philippines is already a developing country. Kasi, and uh, there are different stages now of development of a country. The country, the third world country, parang ano ta, the basic necessities, food, shelter, uh, and everything. So, pag nag-abot ka na level nga, you go to art appreciation, meaning nagkakamay na nakita awareness of ourselves. Like now, we also had a workshop about the arts. And I was really, it was like we were, we taught them how to make the, the there are, because any, the, the dagaw, by the way, dagaw, the meaning of dagaw is shadow. That's everything has a shadow. So we have this organization in Kalbayog, uh, visual artists. So we have a workshop for the young uh, nag join for the organization we have this workshop how to make that it was actually charcoal painting and everything is you know, and we were really alarmed when we saw the exhibit the president was there sir picayo and the vps and all the other faculty when we saw the output because it was really depressing i can see all the skull all the everything was to face uh, after all the after the pandemic pagbabalik pala for the face to face so talaga nakakatindig balahibo po yung output ng mga artist and re i really pointed out to sir picayo sir let us walk together let us see all the outputs of our students ang talaga nanini uh, ano ba yon tagalog daw da pa. so nakakatindig balahibo po until now na ano ako if i'm reminded of the paintings so we can see that our youth now is there are that element, that depression, that challenge for all of us. The adjustment from that pandemic now na balik the different challenge again. And I'm re I really appreciate this kind of endeavor, uh, Commissioner Adamat, wherein when we were discussing with our artists this time and ato naging susulod, we are we are putting it in our minds the peace that. So we were brainstorming, how can we illustrate peace and unity in our art? And it's really very inspiring. Like yesterday, last night, we were discussing and, and everyone, 
uh, ma'am, it's about culture. The people has to be united. So all these things. So and the, the artists are being challenged now. Being challenged. Pinaganahan na nga niya kung nawawagat sound. Yun, the, the artists now, we are putting this in our mind. This, this really, this project of Commissioner Adamat is really good. Because an artist natin, we are letting him think what we can do. We do not stop on the depression stage. We try to think of what we can do to achieve unity, to achieve peace. Because as we say, art is a selective recreation of reality according to an artist. It is from my favorite uh, author, Ayn Rand. It's a recreation of the reality that the artist is seeing. And the reality in Amon Workshop, it was all depression. It was all about pain. Now this kind of project, the artists are being uh, encouraged to think about peace, about achieving peace and unity, how we can go how we can uh, return back from that uh, stage of, of depression. So I salute Commissioner Adamat and the CHED and everyone else here for this very beautiful project. Siba? So because as we see, peace builds one region, one vision. Because, and then we, we always say that life is an art of drawing without an eraser, eraser. So for that, thank you. And let us always think of peace and unity. And good luck. Congratulations to all of you. All of us are winners. Thank you. Thank you so much, Architect Vanessa R. Ailon. Yung energy ni ma'am, winner din. Thank you, ma'am. So, uh, ma'am, kindly remain po sa, sa front. We will be awarding this certificate of appreciation uh, for actively participating as coach during the VIP on the spot painting contest held on 29th day of March 2023. Uh, judges, <laughs> may I request po for a photo opportunity with ma'am. Uh, ma'am Sok, may we request po your presence here in front? again uh, to Northwest Samar State University and to Eastern Samar State University for sharing your for being so generous of your resources to the Commission on Higher Education uh, for helping us uh, in the conduct of this activity thank you NWSSU and ESU so at this point let us watch and listen to this audiovisual presentation of the Parola Artists Group Group's message. Hi everyone, we are thrilled to have you as part of this painting contest. As organizer of this event, we appreciate your enthusiasm and creativity. We know that you have put in a lot of effort and time holding your skills we cannot wait to see the fruits of your labor. We are confident that your unique perspectives and artistic talents will make this event a success. We believe that art is a powerful medium to express ideas, emotions, and perspective. Through creativity, we hope to inspire positive change and create a better understanding of peace. We are eager to see your interpretations of peace through your artwork. Whether it's a representation of peaceful landscapes, a portrait of a peaceful person, or any other form that you feel represents peace. And as we embark this journey together, let us remember that peace is not just a concept, but a way of life. Let us embrace peace in our hearts, a 
our communities, and our world. We encourage to approach this contest with an open mind, a positive attitude, and no willingness to learn from one another. We want to remind you that the contest is not just about feeling, but also about celebrating the beauty of art and the joy of creation. It is an opportunity to showcase your skills and connect with other artists. We wish you all the best of luck and the hope you enjoy the event. Remember to have fun, be true to yourself, and express your creativity to the fullest. Thank you for participating and we look forward to seeing your amazing painting. Once again, we are Parola Artist Group. Parola Artist Group. Our Parola Artist Group. Parola Artist Group. We are Parola Artist Parola Artist Group. We are Parola Artist Group. Parola Artist Group. Parola Artist Group. We are Parola Artist Group. Parola Artist Group. We are Parola Artist Group. so much Parola Artists Group. So while waiting for the, ano, malapit na pong i-announce ang winner, while waiting for the final result, uh, let's be reminded of the following. The phase two or the national level of this competition, um, we will be gathering 10 artists from the regional winners, four from Metro Manila winners of re regionals, two from Luzon area winners, two from Visayas, uh, this competition we're having today, and two from Mindanao area winners of regionals. The panel of judges during the national competition shall select one first place, one second place, one third place, and seven consolation prizes in the national level. So the prizes are the following. First prize, 50,000 cash. Second prize, 30,000 cash. Third prize, 20,000 cash. And the rest of the participants shall receive 3,000 cash as consolation prize. So, yun po. Medyo nahihirapan ng ating mga judges sa pag-decide. That only goes to show na magagaling lahat ng contestants natin. Once again, a round of applause sa mga contestants. And another reminder po to the non-winners, uh, Director Maximo Alhibe has requested uh, that we uh, that you allow us to lend your artworks because this office is planning to conduct an exhibit during the Higher Education Week in May 2023 or during the ASEAN Month celebration in August 2023. So. Mas marami pa pong exposure ang inyong mga artworks. In advance, maraming salamat po. <laughs> Thank you so much. Alright, malapit na. Also, to the winners, to the would-be winners, um, after po receiving your certificates, kindly proceed po sa front uh, since meron po tayong um, sasainan na documents, of course, for the processing of your cash prizes. So while waiting, perhaps, um, can we hear, uh, can we hear from our judges message? Um, perhaps some uh, some message of encouragement, uh, Sir Sir Rico Palacio. Uh, recitation po. Juanila, padayon, don't stop working. Bisan ako kada before ako matorong naghihima kon artwork bisan la buti ay as practice. Ma Practice makes perfect. 
Okay, so nakinig ba kayo? So what did Sir Rico say? Bago matulog, hindi mag-ML. Magpa-practice, okay. So um, we were also discussing a while ago with, with our chief na before uh, her her daughter was not that great in, in dancing but because she kept on practicing and she actually developed her skill kaya siya naging magaling today. So that also applies to you artists. So siguro hindi naman every night but as much as you can, please do practice para um, maibahagi nyo din yung talent nyo sa ibang, sa next generation. Okay, so thank you for your words of encouragement, Sir Rico Palacio. In fact, I see Sir Rico Palacio's artworks on on my FB feed kahit bago pa lang kaming naging friends sa FB. So, uh, evidence yun sa sinabi ni Sir Rico na talagang uh, every night siyang nagpa-practice. Andito na, sinasainan na ang final list ng winners. Nakikita ko na kung sino ang winner. OMG, charo. Kinakabahan din ako kahit hindi ako contestant. na na sa aking mga kamay na ang desisyon ng hurado. <laughs> so we will start with the consolation prizes. Yes, once again, may we request uh, that you bring with you your artworks in front as you pose with our judges. So Ma'am Sok, once again, may we request for your presence in front. And to our judges as well, my dear judges, please, as we award the consolation prize, drum roll, please. <laughs> so, one of the five contestants who will receive the consolation prize is painting number painting number 24 round of applause Congratulations, sir. So the second consolation prize winner is contestant number. Contestant number 12. Congratulations, sir. Our third consolation prize winner is contestant number I think 
Thank you. Contestant number 25. Si John Lloyd, the maraming supporter. Congratulations, Sir John Lloyd. Uh, our next consolation prize winner is contestant number. Hinahanap ko. Contestant number 16. Ay, nasaan na si contestant number 16? Congratulations, sir. Okay, congratulations once again, sir. So our last consolation prize winner is contestant number... Contestant number five. Congratulations to our consolation prize winner. So kindly take a photo po with our judges. Dito po kayo sa sa front. Uh, sa center po kayo. Certificates, uh, please claim your certificates after the activity as it is still being printed, as well as your claim stubs para po sa cash prize. Once again, winners, please claim your certificates after this activity as well as your claim stubs. Okay, mukhang winner na sila dito. Ayaw nyo na ba ng first, second, third? So, we will now be announcing our first, second, and third place winners. Our third place winner. Okay, with an average. So with an average rating of <laughs> of three, our third place of 84.83, again, an average rating of 84.83 is contestant number, contestant number 19. Congratulations, sir.
A round of applause muna sa lahat ng ating winners as well as to all our contestants, of course. So, the second place winner with an average score of 85.5 is contestant number... Contestant number two. Congratulations, contestant number two. Congratulations, contestant number two. So, for our first... <laughs> so, for our first place winner, Sir Leo, do you want to have the honor? Okay. So, our first place winner with the average score of 88.83 points is contestant Baka ako ma Colombia, just to make sure. Contestant number. Contestant number Opportunity daw po with the advisor. Congratulations, winners, and to your coaches. May magpapa Jollibee mamaya. Once again po, um, winners, please claim your certificates after the activity as well as your claim stubs for your cash prizes. So winners, please don't forget your cash prizes and certificates after the activity. So um, may I congratulations to all winners. A round of applause, please. And may I request everyone to please stand for the singing of the Chad hymn.
participation once again uh, may, may we request the winners to please proceed to the lgso office uh, you shall be assisted by mr kim almodiel for your certificates and uh, claim stubs once again winners please proceed to the lgso office and so and on behalf of the commission on higher education we would like to thank our partner agencies, ESU, Eastern Summer State University, headed by Dr. Andres C. Pagatpatan, Jr., to Northwest Summer State University, headed by Dr. Benamin L. Picayo. Thank you so much to ESU and to Northwest for sharing your resources and for making this activity successful. Thank you for the food and for the overflowing coffee. To those who would want a photo opportunity, you may do so now. And of course, sa ating mga judges, Sir Pando, Sir Rico, Sir Melchor, kahit short notice, thank you so much. Ako po yung nangungulit sa inyo. <laughs> nice to meet you. Thank you all. But it's been no better We would also like to thank the CHED Row 8 employees and staff for helping this event uh, be successful to Jarem Bastida, to Sir Neil Dolor, to Mr. Kim Almodiel, to um, George Amongo, of course to our focal person Dr. Leo Di Camposano, to Ms. Cheryl Mercado, to, Ma'am, to Engineer Socorro Kiramas, our chief, to Unifast for lending your <laughs> accounting skills and computing the result. Thank you so much. Uh, to all our participants, maraming salamat po and uh, please ingat po kayo sa biyahe and uh, congrats and good luck sa national competition po.
first, second, and third, pati yung lima na kompleto na ba? Okay na, kompleto na. <laughs> 